And we should be able to increase our data set that helps us understand the accelerated expansion of the universe, which is some phenomenon going on. We don't know what's causing it, but we can measure it. And we call that dark energy. Well, there's a colleague of mine, she's deceased a few years now, called Vera Rubin. She published a paper which basically discovered dark matter in galaxies. Dark matter. You know what it literally is? It's dark gravity. There's more gravity out there than any known source of matter. By the way, it's something like 20 terabytes of data per night that has to be processed. And, and so obviously there's no people involved in that. <laughs> well, people created the data pipeline, but the analysis, that's all automatic. Otherwise it would take thousands of astrophysicists, thousands of years <laughs> to analyze these data. So a feature of this telescope is that the public owns it in a sense, because all of the data will be made public as soon as it comes out of the processing stream. And that means with some tools that my colleagues will be developing, you can help us discover things that we might have missed. Not everyone knows what question to ask of data. You can have your own biases, your own expectations. And so the, this gives new meaning to the concept of citizen scientists. So I look forward to what role the public plays in this going forward. So that's a little bit of what's up with that with the Vera Rubin Observatory. <laughs>